This video is going to be about just the actual uh, experimentation with this air knife. Here's just machining the first part. I just uh, video recorded the first part being machined. I, I made extra pieces so that I could experiment with this a little bit because it wasn't working exactly the way I wanted to to begin with. You saw just in the very opening shot a little um, kind of indication of what that was doing. You'll see a little bit more later in the video here. But this is just um, basically machining the, the first one. I actually made um, five or six of these things, I think, blanked them out just so I could try different configuration of air passages for the um, air knife part of it, I guess you might call it. Just drilling the screw holes here. Just trying to run this for the most part without coolant as best I could so you could see what was happening here. So here's milling the counter bores for the screws. Kind of pulse the coolant on and off just to blow those shavings out of there. And you come back after this and put the hole for the um the little barb fitting. This is just spotting for the drill. For the barb fitting that, that the tubing hooks onto. And I needed this to be a relatively close fit because I wanted to press the barbs, the barb fittings into there. I made a little uh, video sequence of making the barb fitting, but it was out of focus, so I didn't bother to put it in the video. But basically, these barb fittings are hooking on there with some kind of a that little clear um, plastic line like you use on aquariums. Is what I'm using. So that's the basic part, and just parting it off here. And on the very first one, I show in the next sequence, indicating the hole where the barb fitting goes, because I have to um, drill a, an intersecting hole from the back side. Well, this is just boring the jaws. I just did this manually. I didn't even make a program, I just jogged the machine with the hand wheel here to bore the jaws. I think I put a, some I found on the bench next to me over here, call it Chuck Nut, which as you see in the jaws there, separate the jaws. So like I said earlier, here, here I'm showing, indicating, well first I got to set the Z0 here um, on my fixture offset, so I take a skim cut and mic it and then set that appropriately for the thickness I want. And here I put the indicator in and uh, indicate this little hole for the barb fitting, but later in the video I did this in a different way when I made extra ones. This was just the machining the very first one. I did it this way. But later I actually pressed the barb fittings in and pushed it up against the chuck jaw on the um, extra ones I made. So that just skimmed the face off to finish dimension. And here's the eighth inch ball end mill that is milling a, uh, the air passage that intersects the hole where the barb fitting mates to the OD so it brings the air inside and then this next tool I believe is the milling the o-ring groove to seal off the the glass and the air I think that was a 16th inch carbide end mill I did that one so that was the first one and I just left a gap between the glass and that face and that didn't work at all to blow the coolant off the window. So I had to try some different things. The, the, those, there's the extra ones I made to experiment with with the barb fittings pressed in. So 
So the very first passages, I just milled little slots, and then I widened them to those curved, like you see there. And that sort of worked, but it, it see how it throws up this little, um, I don't know, uh, um, ring in the middle there, because it's it's uh, causing the water to rotate. This this is the worst case scenario where I I, I let it I set it horizontally. It won't normally ever be horizontal like this when I'm video recording, but and uh, but you see that little ring in the middle, and as I increase the pressure, that actually gets larger. And so I, I'm trying to experiment here with pressure settings on the compressor. I'm also using a, this little California uh, oilless air compressor because the air, the air in the water in the shop air actually clouds the window up. So you, this this little uh, oilless air compressor works yeah, better, and it doesn't take very much volume. Right of air, but as you increase the kind of the pressure, it actually, right there, with water, it's not too bad. But when you when you're running coolant out of the machine, it dries the, the coolant on the lens or the glass cover of the lens, and it kind of clouds it up. So you can't okay, too much air eight. pressure doesn't work that good. And also, you can hear the the air in the microphone of the camera, which I don't want to have. Also, so. This kind of configuration of the ports sort of work, but it, you can see it, it leaves that little uh, ring in the middle. And if you turn the pressure down, it goes down, but then it has a little drop right in the middle of the, the lens of the camera. As you see here in a, in a minute, I, I turn the air down to about 15 PSI right there. And you get this little bead of, of coolant right in the middle. And also, it, it, you can see that it really didn't clear off the, the glass. You still get these, I don't know, um, kind of like a condensation along the, the edges of the window, the which, which does show up in the picture there. a little bit. So the next thing I tried was just to um, mill That's very shallow. I was using a 32nd inch okay. ball end mill, and I was just milled little grooves radially out. on the um, I could get it to run the next one pressure, I think it would be and you'll see in a but minute here in the video the how that worked passages in there. so here's just a little sequence of me how I lined up on the the, the um, extra parts I guess you say I just pushed it up against the chuck jaw and then I lined up the two of the holes horizontally and I zeroed out my C-axis. It's not too bad, but then Three thousandths eyeball in it. Okay, we're going to call that good. I set our C0, and because we're pushing the little um, barbed stem thing up against this jaw, we can, that'll repeat good enough for, to, to make multiple parts here and test multiple ideas. So here's just zeroing out the C-axis. On, on this control, you just teach the um, zero, enter zero and push enter in it teaches the location. So go back to the display and hit reset and you can see your C is at zero. Again. So this is the first kind of thing I tried. You saw earlier in the video 
and it, it leaves that ring kind of in the middle when it's running, you know, when the air is blowing and the coolant's running on it. And it, it looks so, sort of like this here in this next sequence here. I'm just spraying water on it. You can see that little ring. It's not that bad, but it, it, uh, I was trying to get, eliminate that. So I, I made these radial grooves, just tried this out, but, but that didn't really work that good. It kind of just, you have these droplets all over the screen and it, it has no, uh, I think when it's circulating, circular motion, it, it throws it off of there somewhat. So I tried this, these grooves kind of get deeper as they go towards the groove. So they're very shallow. They're only like about two or three thousandths deep at the, at the opening. And see, you still get this circular motion with those angular grooves. Little better, but I want to get rid of that little swirl in the middle of the, of the picture. So I put the combination of the two ideas. I put a few more radial grooves there, just to blow towards the center, and that seemed to be working pretty good, actually. It, if you notice in the next sequence, the um. It kind of gets rid of that circular thing in the middle of the screen. You can see here, as I run the coolant into the camera, you can see that little circular motion, but it's kind of those those grooves coming straight in kind of blow the, uh, disturb the, the center rotation and, and, it, and it kind of blows it away. Not perfect, but what I'm working with right now. I still got more of those um, blanks that I'm, I haven't given up on this idea. I got to try different ideas. I just have to come up with some something that I think might work better and try it. But right now this is where it stands. It's working I guess good enough to you know to work first for a it's not perfect yet, I'm still working on it, but I don't know, you know, if anybody has any ideas that I might try, let me know in the comments.